Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Peep This Out in this video. Taco Bell Spicy Grilled Cheese Nacho Fries Review. Peep This Out. This is the new one that he uploaded yesterday, and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize, and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. Get ready for the latest and possibly greatest version yet of the fan favorite nacho fries over here at Taco Bell with their latest promo, guys. And for today's review, I'm actually going to be getting a little spicy with it. So stay tuned, because up next, I've got the all-new spicy grilled cheese nacho fries. And as always, I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Well, you already had me at grilled cheese with this one, Taco Bell. This is looking and smelling pretty dynamite right now. Feast your eyes on the skies. A very lovely combination of cheesy nacho fry action with this one. Let me break it on down for you fully before we get right into it. All right, so the spicy grilled cheese nacho fries over here at Taco Bell. Definitely a very cheesy situation, as you can see here, guys. A nice three-cheese blend is covering a very solid portion of crispy nacho fries that feature the usual bold Mexican spices as normal. And in this case, underneath all that, it's also going to have seasoned beef, nacho cheese sauce, a creamy chipotle sauce, and sliced jalapenos, which gives it that spicy kick. But guys, a lot of cheese initially, and you couldn't tell what's under this one just by looking at it. It just looks like a lot of cheese, but I'm down with it. So let's not waste any more time on this one. Let's get into it. This is the all-new spicy grilled cheese nacho fries here at Taco Bell. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, you most definitely got to respect the amount of cheese on this one, guys. This is looking really awesome. And I got to say, I was very curious to know exactly how they were going to produce something like this, considering how it's made very similar to the grilled cheese burrito, which I reviewed a few times here on the channel. Take a look at one of them that's jumping up on your screen here right now. Wow. It's basically made the same way, kind of like a backwards situation. They scoop cheese onto this parchment paper and then put all the toppings, they put the fries on, and then they flip it upside down after it's grill oh pressed God. and put it into the box. And there you go, all covered up. Really, really nice looking. I got to say, guys, looking really nice sorry for mumbling to myself sorry sorry about that everybody my bad so let's get into this because i have a feeling the composure is kind of holding there is a lot of cheese on this one guys just look at that that is pretty nice so wow. like i said the grilled cheese burrito is a pretty banging situation over here at taco bell i can only imagine the cheese on these fries let's confirm it for you here we go it's the all-new spicy variant of the grilled cheese nacho fries over here at taco bell let's peep this out Mm. Cheesy. Um, Cheesy. A little heat. Mm. Delish. It's ooey and gooey, even though it's kind of cooling off just a bit here in terms of the stringiness of it. But I love the grilled cheese aspect on the very top of this, and naturally, getting it with some of the jalapenos. You got to make sure you do that if you want the spicy action. The chipotle is doing a nice job with this in terms of the heat. There's a little bit of sizzle there. But guys... The flavor of the fries is coming through beautifully with that three cheese blend. So let's keep going in. It's pretty nice. Mmm. Wow. You know, I'm all about the close-ups with this one, and I gotta say, all that melted cheese is looking beautiful on this, on top of adding a nice amount of flavor overall. The creamy chipotle sauce is definitely highlighted big time with this, along with combining with that three cheese blend. So a nice combination of goodness with this one, guys. And the cool thing about this also is the fact that you can also get it with seasoned beef, which is the way I have it right now, as well as steak. And of course, you can add the spicy action to it as well with the jalapenos. But guys, the cheese is very much baked on there pretty nicely with that panini type press that they use. As you can see, you got to get right to it, though, because it begins to congeal a little bit. But the cheese is very nice with the classic Taco Bell flavors. Let's keep going in for a couple more. Mm. Seasoned beef action good stuff let me grab a little of that with that chipotle sauce very nice very nice indeed mm. this is a very tasty situation very tasty so yeah guys i'm digging this the only thing is though like i said you got to get to it before it begins to congeal together because as you can see everything on the underneath of this here is covered with that cheese pretty beautifully very very nice i almost feel like i need a knife with this just yeah. a little bit but you can kind of pull it apart with the fork which is good very tasty so let's go for one more bite we'll wrap up this review with the rating coming up next we'll grab a little of everything right there a little bit of the beef a little bit of that jalapeno action of course the grilled cheese in the very top and then uh, we'll just finish this review out with the rating coming up next but guys another tasty variation of the popular nacho fries over here at taco bell you know you're going to give this a shot right hang on one second 
Yes, sir. A pretty lovely situation with this one. And even if you don't get the spicy variant, a.k.a. adding the extra jalapenos, you're getting just enough kick from the chipotle sauce to really deliver. So overall, all of these flavors work as you'd expect, and the presentation's pretty banging. <laughs> And also, you gotta love the residual nacho cheese action on the back end with that one as well, just combining with everything beautifully. A lovely, lovely, lovely situation. So, after everything you've seen and heard up to this point, and based upon my initial experience with it right now for the first time, I'm gonna have to give the all-new spicy grilled cheese nacho fries here at Taco Bell a pretty solid 8.5 out of 10. Overall, it's the same familiar flavors from Taco Bell, naturally featuring those nacho fries, and of course with the chipotle sauce as well, and the nacho cheese, the beef. You're going to recognize the flavors right off the bat, but guys, the wild card is that three cheese blend action, the way that's panini pressed on the very top, which I really like. That grilled cheese action works very nicely, and it's easily worth your time to go in on. Just make sure you get right to it when you get it, so you can have a little bit more of the stringy action. But other than that, the flavor is definitely there. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the look of the grilled cheese nacho fries over here at Taco Bell featuring a little spicy extra action thanks to those jalapenos. How did it look to you? And if you've had it already, is it one of your all-time favorite versions of the nacho fries yet? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is ENK closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Peep the Side Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next TV coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow, and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you, and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up. And let me take care of this notification. I'll be right back, everybody. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. And I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or to Peep This Out's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Get both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 9,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists. On both my main channel and my second channel, and give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 9,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 4,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. So please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that too. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.